So Assassin's Creed Valhalla was officially announced yesterday and today we finally got the cinematic trailer for the game, link in the description for my breakdown. And from the trailer release, Ubisoft has given us fans a whole plethora of new information about the game, including the setting, release date, combat, storyline and much, much more. But in this video, I'll be going over what we know so far about the Assassin's Creed Valhalla's campaign and some theories on where I think it could lead to. So let's get straight into the video. So it's finally been confirmed that Assassin's Creed Valhalla shall take place in the 9th century AD as we see Ivor, the main character, travel from his icy homeland of Norway to the luscious green setting of England. From here he will lead his clan in taking over villages and making the land their own. But due to the conflict they bring, the wannabe king King Alfred of Wessex denounces the Vikings and brands them heathens as he looks to be the sole ruler of a civilised England and it's up to Ivor to protect his clan. Now from this we can already guess how the story will progress in the game. But before I get into that, there are some true information that we can get from Assassin's Creed Valhalla already and that is King Alfred of Wessex. He is a real historical character and we all know Ubisoft love using real historical characters as the antagonist in the game but in the history books, Alfred, King Alfred of Wessex, sorry, he's a good guy. He he helped progress the, the Saxons onwards and you know helped use help them create new technologies and all that stuff so it's really quite interesting to see how Ubisoft will use this character as an antagonist. So we will more or less likely start out in Norway completing basic quests to get to know our new character and our surroundings. We will then make our way out to England where Ivor becomes enthralled with the beauty that is England and decides to set up base there. The natives will not take too kindly to this and the king will try to control them, very similar to the Templar order. This obviously is not going to go well and will lead to an all out war between the Vikings and Saxons, setting the basis for conflict throughout the game, all leading to the Vikings settling in England which we know to be the case due to the historical accuracy that Ubisoft loves to follow within the Assassin's Creed franchise. Now we'll just say that obviously not all the Vikings were able to settle in England but some did and I really do think that Ivor will be one of those. One thing that isn't mentioned however is how the Norse mythology will play into Ivor's story. But in the cinematic trailer we get a glimpse of a man that appears to transform into a crow. This man I and many others believe to be a rendition of Odin. Now in Norse mythology Odin uses the crows of earth to look upon and reap Report the goings on around the world. I believe that this is what he's doing and at some point in the story we will be taught that Odin, Thor, etc are all renditions of the ones who came before, the Aesu, the people that created Adam and Eve and of course the pieces of Eden. Talking about the pieces of Eden, one that I believe will play a huge part into the story will be Excalibur, the sword Arthur poured out of the stone. Within the Assassin's Creed lore however it was stated that Odin himself plunged the sword into the tree called Barn, Barnstocher or however you say it and perhaps this this will be something our protagonist has to retrieve. This is what I believe will happen within the Assassin's Creed Valhalla storyline. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Make sure to like and subscribe to stay up to the latest and greatest Assassin's Creed Valhalla videos. And of course, follow me on Twitter at BBLGamingYT. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.